In my opinion, liquid biopsies uh, have a role in esophagogastric uh, uh, adenocarcinoma, especially the HER2 uh, data that we generated in our Integra trial uh, shows that um, it is very prognostic how much circulating DNA uh, you have as a patient, uh, both um, uh, at baseline evaluation, but uh, even more uh, after um, treatment initiation. Uh, the, the problem with the liquid biopsy approach in, um, in this uh, tumor entity is the pronounced genetic heterogeneity uh, of this entity, uh, because if you really want to quantify the, the tumor-specific uh, part of cell-free DNA, uh, you have to rely on mutations, and the mutations are so um, diverse and, and so subclonal also uh, that it's very hard to really um, um, that you reflect the whole tumor mass by by tracking single mutations in blood. So what we actually did in our trial uh, was to measure the, the complete cell-free DNA content and to correlate this with clinical outcomes. Um, of course, this has the limitation that you also include cell-free DNA that is not tumor-derived, but we found in our data such clear-cut differences between just the mere levels of uh, CFDNA uh, in responders and non-responders and long-term responders um, that I can say that, that I feel this is a technology that can be used, um, that, that uh, gives very reliable results, and that is also easy to perform because it's a simple quantity Identification of DNA. Um, and I also think that uh, in the future, this might become uh, not only a prognostic tool, but also uh, might be used as a kind of predictive tool in order to filter out patients that, um, that do well on a certain treatment, and on the other hand, uh, filter out those that don't do well and that can, be, um, that can receive an early switch to um, a different regimen. Uh, because we see that if you, um, if you don't reduce your, um, if, if you don't reduce your circulating uh, cell-free DNA, uh, after one cycle of treatment, uh, then you're in a very bad prognostic group and then a switch to a different regimen might be beneficial.